my dear. All the best. Thank you, Anshi, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Before we go ahead with the event, it's always good to start off with a prayer. So let's bow down our head and thank the Almighty. Uh, ma'am, if you can uh, let me share the screen. Ajay, sir, could you please share the screen for us? Abhimanyu, you can share the screen right now. As you all know, we are going YouTube live as well. For the guests and people who have joined from across the globe, let me give you a little information about my school and how and why education. Lekol Chambaga is a reputable leading private school devoted to excellence. Our school has always believed in holistic education. The vision of our school management to equip the students to be future ready, inspire the school to partner with how and why education India. How and Why Education is a holistic approach towards education that strives to champion technology-based experiential learning. How and Why is a global movement working with thousands of students across the globe, preparing them for what is to come. The technology program powered by How and Why Education was initiated in our school from the month of July to October 2021. During that period, the students of 6th, 7th and 8th grades attended six sessions. Started off with a bootstrap session where we were exposed to the stories of inspiring young minds of four years old to 16 years old who proved that age is just a number. With the same inspiration, we had our website development session where we learned how we can create our own website without any coding, which impacted us to work on our passion at this age. Followed by, we had a biomedical session where we had hands-on experience on the prototype of stethoscope and spirometer. The session exposed us to the importance of technology in the medical domain. The advancement in the animation field and how we can incorporate animation in our learning was a guiding light towards our future in making. We created an animation with the help of blog-based programming using Scratch software. From animation to biotech, we were able to extract DNA and also understand how medicines work in our body. Biotech was a session that never failed to answer my curiosity. Last, but not the least, we had a session on artificial intelligence where we discussed how AI can change the world and also had an insight of machine learning and how we can train a system. From then until now, it has been a wonderful and innovative learning experience for us students. Not only that, but it has also helped us upgrade our creativity, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and problem solving skills we have received an understanding of where our interest lies. It has also helped us befriend technology and upskill in various domains. For many such reasons, I want to take this opportunity and express my gratitude towards Lekul Champaka School and How and Why Mentors for helping us create a bright future for ourselves. Thank you. I would now like to invite the principal of our school, Dr. Swaminathan Krishna, to share a few words.
sir. Thank you. Good evening, dear uh, Chambaga family members, Hawan Wai officials, distinguished chief guest of the day, uh, guest of honor, the judges for the program, and the various from our school, the selected 17 presenters today, Manju Madam, management members, our honorable chairman with a great vision who always encourage children to grab and exercise quite a lot of experiential opportunities like this. Our secretary, Madam, director, dean, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warm, warm, warm greetings and warm welcome on this amazing occasion seriously amazing occasion wherein we will have our young children presenting papers, presenting their project, presenting their intellectual expression in terms of all that they have been learning under the experiential umbrella that we have tied up with the call called how and why. Uh, like always uh, they mentioned uh, creating future ready global citizens that is exactly what LECO like international schools are always looking forward for. We have got curriculum set up in all the school across the whole world, but like Albert Einstein repeatedly say, knowledge and learning is what you experience. Everything else is just information. Unless you don't experience, it's just an information. So here we have our grade six, seven, eight students repeatedly like the boy just now spoke about the bootstrap to artificial intelligence to biotechnology farm to technology to almost space everything they had the hands-on learning with the help of experts in this field i appreciate the hawaiian Y team for this readiness and preparedness given to our children i'm so eager so eager like all our fellow members of the coach Chambaga, to see the amazing presentation of our children the future general managers chief executive officers and entrepreneurs most importantly the contributors, the contributors, we have got millions and billions of consumers in the world. We want to create uh, contributors on behalf of everybody for this, uh, this presentation today and tomorrow. I wish you all the best. Just before coming to this program, I was just talking to the teacher in charge. There's quite a few, half a dozen, maybe close to a dozen teachers who have been uh, working with this program. What exactly have you done? I just plainly asked a question, can we go ahead with the how and why next year? Shall we renew the uh, uh, contract or shall we close it this year? In order for me to say, yes, we can go ahead, I need to know just one answer for a question. What are the personality changes you have made with this program? You know, outstanding, just a distinguished for, uh, a personality changes that you brought in the children. They just said one thing, like I have spoken in the first how and why thing, like, you know, the 4C, the global citizenship program, 21st century, uh, the communication, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity, everything is set. And, and what have you developed among the children? They said, of course, the creativity and the problem solving skill. Fine enough. Great. What else are we expecting from the education? Most importantly, the creativity. And in the day-to-day -day life, in the firefighting of day-to-day -day life, the problem-solving uh, skill. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this amazing program. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your kind words. Now, let me introduce the judges for this event. We have Ms. Pooja Bose, who is a professional in the education sector with over a decade of experience. Ma'am is currently heading the high range school and has worked with many premium educational institute, institutions of India, like Delhi Public School, Noida, Bharat Ram School, Noida, Delhi Public School, Rudrapur, Mangalam World School, Greater Noida. Pooja Ma'am is zealously passionate when it comes to providing the best to the students. She has been a recipient of numerous awards, like 21st Century Educational Leadership Awards for Exceptional Educator, Dynamic Principal Award, Global Women Achievers Award, to name a few. It's an honor to have you with us as our judging panelists, ma'am. We welcome you. We have our other judge, Mr. Shubham Gupta, 
who is the innovation lead at uh, NITI IOC India. He is a technologist who has a rich experience in the field of innovation. Shubham sir has previously worked with prestigious firms like Amul, Agro Africa, and Vedant Resources. He has handled and excelled in various profiles like sales, marketing, strategy, project management, to name a few. Shubham sir, through NITI IO, is committed to spread innovation and creativity among young minds, and we're elated to have a personality like him among us. We are privileged to have you as one of our judges, sir. Let's give a round of applause for both the judges. I'm most excited to welcome the students of grades six, seven, and eight, who had only one and a half hour for each session, but they put in lots of energy and work for four to six hours. Now, let's start the most awaited part of this program, the presentations. Our first domain is web development, headed by Nithi Ebi. Over to you, Nithi. Thank you, Abhimanyu. The advance of technology is based on making it fit in so that you don't really even notice it. So it's part of everyday life. This is a quote by Bill Gates, who is the co-founder of Microsoft. Good evening, everyone. This is Nidhi Abhi from grade eight, here to speak about how technology influenced me and made my life easier. As a young individual in a society, I always look up to those people who have inspired me at their young age. The bootstrap session I attended from How and Why opened my eyes to young minds throughout the world. Many kids have their own identity to showcase in front of the whole world. This made me to develop my talents and showcase it to the whole world. Can anyone here differentiate between ICC and CBC? Most of you now will Google to find its answers. We all use internet in our day-to-day -day life but a very few of us know what is the importance of internet and how it works. When you searched for an answer, you will see different websites that gives you information. The technology we use are so blended with our life that we don't even notice their importance. So can I ask you a question? Is it Google or the websites which gave you the answers? Yes, it is the websites. We had a how and why session on web development where I learned a lot of things about websites, search engines, and web browsers. I learned how to differentiate between a good website from a bad one. There are different types of websites and one of the types we created was a portfolio website, which I was most awaited for. I was excited when my mentor asked me, are you ready to create a website on your own? The thought of creating a website on my own reminded me of complex coding. Will I be able to code myself and create a website? I thought. My mentor introduced Wix website where we can create a variety of websites and that too without coding. Wix was very user friendly and we can design our websites based on what we want. Creating a website with my friends was engaging and enjoyable. The discussion we had with our mentors on how creating a website can bring change to an individual's life was the best part of the web development session. It was exciting to hear from my mentor on how you can create an create a e e-commerce website and start earning from it at an early age. The sense of responsibility and professionalism was built in me. It is obvious that is that in future, a job applicant can easily send their website, which brings in all the skills, knowledge, talents, and so on in one place. Since websites play a very important role in future, it also made me think of how websites can be used in our schools to teach each and every subject. To conclude, web development session gave me a lot of information. And I'm here to show some of the projects that my friends did on web development. First of all, I call upon Jatishwaran of class six to present his website. Jatishwaran, over to you. Thank you, Nidhi. Am I audible? 
Yes, you are. Yes, yes, Jadeshwar. Thank you. I am Jadeshwaran from Great Six Globals. Before I start my presentation, I just want to ask one simple question. The question is, how do you think you can define yourself? Those who are watching me in YouTube can also answer in the comment box. Thanks for your responses. Many of you will think about your professional life. There will be a very few who will describe themselves based on their passion. I'm a person who wants the world to identify me as a talented and passionate human being. Creating a digital curriculum by day was a long time dream for me. Moreover, I have varied interests like photography, painting, filming and editing, writing, music, and fish wearing. Hence, among the given options for the project, I thought website development would be more appropriate for me and wanted to grab this opportunity. I came to know about the Wix.com website, as Nidhi said, during the How and Why classes, and I took that forward, editing and creating a website for myself. Please come with me for a tour. I'll share my screen now. Yes, Jadishwaran, your uh, screen is visible. Yeah, thank you. So when someone arrives at my website, I want them to feel pleasant. So I have uploaded this video of the forest and it's raining. So it says, welcome. And uh, as you notice, in the Zoom, my name is Chetiswaran Sriheri. Can someone identify what the meaning is? Can the sum know? We know it when we come down and we can see that it is written. Jedi means rhythm and swara means melody. If they want to read more, they click here and they'll be directed to the main bio page. Moving down, we have three sections. Those are photography, blog, and calendar. First, I'll just show a few photographs. This I named it as the golden monkey. And these are two grasshoppers. A blush of purple, a purple flower. And this is a snake hibernating. And this is the giant pinty crocodile. So I will click here and we'll be directed to the gallery page. And here we can see the pictures taken by me. Here I'd like to ask a question. Can someone identify that this picture was taken? When we click here, we can see that it is taken in Gulma, Kashmir. Every picture has a title and where it was taken. Moving down in the gallery page, we have the paintings section. When we click here, this is the owl in coffee painting, the normal coffee which we drink. And this is in watercolor, coffee painting again. This is a finger painting. And this I have named it as tranquility and it is in acrylic. The next page is blog. Here I have uploaded my write-ups, for example, songs, different types of poems like haiku, acrostic poems. And everyone here likes potato fries, potato wedges, french fries. Can someone here identify the uniqueness of this poem? The first letter of each line. Yeah, exactly. It is an acrostic poem, which means that the first letter of each line will form the letter which we have chosen. For example, P-O-T-A-T-O, which makes potato, and F-R-Y, which makes fry. And I have written, I have posted 
my write ups here in the blog page. And you may wonder from where I have taken these pictures, from which device I have taken, and how I edit my videos. So, here in the equipment page, I have posted what all I use. And the next page we'll be viewing is shop. So, we have two products here, which is butterfly calendar, hard copy, and digital copy. When you click on download, will be directed to the next page, which is sign in. And they can, the viewers can message me here and they'll be able to buy it from me personally, but they won't be able to buy it through this website because I haven't purchased a domain yet. The next page we'll be viewing is contact. Here are, here is my contact. People can, enter the mail here if they are comfortable and we can create projects projects together so here i'll just go up and i'll click here on read more and it will direct me to the bio page and here are the hobbies of me for example chess painting singing fish writing etc so i'll go back to the home page and Another section, section which we have not seen, which is short film. And when we click there, we'll be directed here, which is short films. And I'll just play one. For some of you, it may be lagging. So what I'll do is I'll post my link in the chat afterwards. And what is the primary objective of this website? My primary objective is to learn something new and to also organize my outputs in various fronts in a single place. Hope you enjoyed my website. I thank you one and all for this wonderful opportunity. If there are any questions, I'm extremely happy to answer those. So yeah, brilliant work, Jatesh Churan. It was wonderful to uh, scroll through all of your work and your website. So Jatesh Churan, what excites you to be on the website development part? So, uh, and, and where is the idea came from? Ki, okay, you should have your own website. Okay, I get it. The primary objective is ki, uh, to consolidate all the work you have done. So, but yeah, what really excites you to go into the website development part? Yeah, uh, so creating a website for myself was a long time dream for me. And me having various hobbies, uh, I it would be more easy and it would be fascinating for others to view my website and it was just a long time dream for me. Yeah. And how much time uh, it, it took to develop this whole website piece of yours? Yeah, uh, it took four to five hours, four to six hours. Any other questions? So, uh, if uh, Shubham sir, have you finished your set of questions? So brilliant work, Jatishwaran. Um, so good, such visual appeal, and I really like the style of the poem uh, which you had shown. Um, and it was also very vivid. It really told us about you. You know, 
if somebody wants to know you, you just have to click on the website and we'll know you. Brilliant. Just wanted to understand, uh, you know, in terms of the impact or what, you know, the objective, of course, is that people want to know you. So they'll access your website. But is there a message you want to give to anybody? What was the thing which you wanted to tell people? Or, yes, yeah, so what was that appeal or the, the impact which you wanted to make? That was not very clear. Yes, ma'am. First of all, it's it's a website uh, where people get to know me. And in the short form section, I have several videos which will which are motivational. For example, there was a video for motivation in Corona. And there was a music, a keyboard play, uh, which was by uh, which I was playing in keyboard in the Raga Nalila Kanti. And it's so it's like a, a excellent play it was uh, in sitar and it's just a place to get to know me and they can buy their calendars here as i have included that and they can get to know me thank you so much thank all you. the best thank you jadishwaran thank you judges for your valuable feedback uh, i hope everyone liked uh, jadishwaran's presentation uh, next, we will be moving to the next presentation uh, by Raghav of Class 6. Raghav, over to you. Uh, Raghav, I'm sorry, you're muted. Oh, sorry. So, um, I think most of you love to listen to music, right? So, I'm going to play a short song in my guitar. I hope you all liked it. So the reason to my inspiration to playing the guitar is Bruno Mars. He is a world famous um, guitarist and lead singer. I came to know about him in the song called The Lazy Song. After I knew about him, I searched in the internet and found many websites related to his life and biography. Um, and, I, and I found many websites related to his life and biography. So I thought that if I knew to play the guitar and if I wanted the world to know about me, I could also create a website. So that is the reason why I chose website development as my topic for this session. So now I'm going to show my website. I hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, we can. Yes. So when you come into my website, you can see a short introduction, uh, which is actually for uh, those who don't like to see the uh, full uh, website. So if they only wanted to know about my life, they could ac actually read this. And these couple of slides are actually, uh, actually tell us what all you will see in my website. When you go to the get to know about me page, you can see another introduction, which is uh, a little bit more detailed. And you'll see what all I study. And this section tells us about what all I do during my free time. When you go to the gallery page, you can see a couple of pictures, which are actually past memories of mine, like this one, the day I learned to tune the guitar by myself. There's actually pictures that I put over here because they're actually past memories. When you go to the My Songs page, you can see uh, audios of three songs, which I actually learned first, and, and uh, videos of the first two songs that I've learned. In the future, when I again uh, work on this website, I would add new songs into it. And if you ever wanted to get in touch with me, or if I'm updating the website, you can always um, get updated by submitting this form. So when I again work on this website in the future, I would add new technologies and new features to my website. I hope you liked it. Thank you. I open the floor for questions.
okay so uh, raghav uh, uh, at the first impression of your website it's it's lovely uh, the font size and uh, the font you have used to create all together a kind of uh, a belonging to your site is is very nice what i feel is like uh, when you are describing yourself it's like uh, you can be more towards using the pictures and less of the text that is my first impression okay so uh, whenever you describe a thing a person or a place i think it's more important to have more and more pictures but very well done when you go through all these of your buttons and the pages it is very well self explanatory and i like that you have not only put on your songs you have also put two videos okay how you have learned the music so very well done raghav uh, that's all from my side thank you sir yeah couple of things uh, similar as uh, shubham sir also said that um, uh, you know the text were, it was a bit text heavy but of course music is itself quite refreshing and entertaining and everybody wants to visit a website which is full of songs and music and uh, i just wanted to know that uh, you know the kind of songs which you 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 know you've shown or you you've uh, demonstrated different types of songs uh, ma'am i didn't hear your full question you got stuck the question the is that the genres of the songs are they the same or are they from different backgrounds like if you have for example put on the video clip of three kinds of songs or five kinds of songs are they of similar type or are they from different genres they are from different genres okay what are they uh they are may, uh, like uh, the the first song that i played like right now i played was actually a fantasy one um and the other two songs are uh, like the the second one is actually um like a mystery and third one is actually um like a drama kind of a drama okay thanks raghav that was great thank you ma'am thank you raghav thank you judges uh, for your uh, valuable feedbacks and questions um let's give him a round of applause next i hand over to ansi ma'am and see ma'am please yeah thank you niti all right before we go ahead with the presentations it's a privilege to have the chairman of lekol champaka raj sir here with us sir it would be nice if you can share some word with us uh thank you ansi for inviting me and um, thank you our chambaga colleagues and uh, all the guests i cannot i don't remember by name sorry for that i am joining from dubai here i am really happy to see how the children answer the confidence they are showing the innovation they are showing is way beyond what i can think so that way i am very happy and thanks to the people who mentor them to express in this manner when i think about education i am an educationalist i have around 16 schools between uae and india <clears throat> the crux of education is not building knowledge today knowledge is already available not like my days or the people who are all in the middle age in those days we had to depend on a classroom 
we have to depend on a teacher we have to depend on a textbook and we have to depend on a small lab available to us to gain knowledge but today knowledge is at fingertips any child all the child needs is for raghav i can see him if raghav or nidhi or these are the two children i can see if you want to get a knowledge do you really need a teacher do you really need a textbook nothing open youtube type whatever you want there comes type google type various applications the knowledge with picture diagram action process everything is there correct children correct is, sir so you really do not need a teacher textbook classroom today it's available to you so what is required for you only two things one is do you have the language the most important thing children is do you have a language to understand the struggle of primary education today is how much language skill you can acquire and from the language skill how much of reading you can do do you know why you should read not for language but find characters each novel you read has a character it may be a footballer may be a magician may be a doctor may be an engineer it depends on a character and you have to get maybe musician for raga but you have to find those characters and keep them in your heart because if you do not have a character in your heart you will not be emotionally attached to read more and more so find character that you like read more and more and build that character very strong so knowledge is available to you characters are available to you once language is available to you do you agree so when you have character built up now let the knowledge is there which is available in any digital format the character that motivates you is in your heart what more is required for you is the skill to connect you to the character and develop the character more and more if you are connected to a musician you have to excel that musician by your skills skill is called innovation making better than what it was yesterday have you seen a 3 it flight aeroplane it's a double decker aeroplane 350 plus passengers in the sky who made it why it is made there is an engineer an innovator who saw the ordinary planes one deck he multiplied with engine capacity into two deck there goes 350 people in the sky is the passion an engineer's passion innovated into a new creation so i will not talk more children you should have the language that is the first challenge for you a wide reading is what should motivate you creating mental characters is what is very important create the mental character you love excel from the mental character with your own skill with new new inventions is the way forward so you may think why i need a teacher the teacher is the molding person the mentoring person teacher helps you to blend this the language the knowledge the character and help you to innovate and make a better character by you that is how education happens i don't know how much you followed me but this is what i wish to tell you and children i give you back to your to the current 
uh, current interview happening. I was so happy to come and join you in this evening. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It was nice hearing your precious words and it was, we are privileged to have your presence here for this event as well. Back to you, Nidhi. Thank you, Ansi, ma'am. Next, uh, I call upon the last participant of web development domain, and that is Janaki Krishna of uh, class seven. Janaki, over to you. Thank you, Nidhi. Hello, all. My name is Janaki Krishna, and I'm from grade seven. Today, I'm going to show you the website that I created. Before that, let me tell you my journey making this website. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy making websites during my free time and consider it a hobby. Initially, I used to code from scratch using HTML5. But after attending the How and Why session, they introduced me to Wix, which is much easier, fun, and attractive. Another hobby that I really love is singing. So I decided to create a website about my musical life. Now I'd like to share my screen and present. Uh, and see, ma'am, I'm not able to share my screen. Can you please share it for me? I'll share it for you. Thank you, ma'am. Let me know when you have to move to the next page, okay? Yes, ma'am. So uh, this is the name of my website, uh, Acapella, Janaki's Musical World. Why Acapella? Because it describes what I do in music in just one word. I do not play any instruments. I only do vocals, and that's what acapella means. Instum uh, uh, vocals without instrumental music. Man, can you please scroll down? Here is just a world of memories where I put pictures of the memories that I had. And then there's a subscribe button. If I ever make any changes, uh, in my website or anything else, you'll be the first to know. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe over there. Mom, can you please move to the about me page? Thank you, Mom. So over here, you can get to know me and uh, know what I do other than uh, singing. And um, you, can, uh, you can look at my whole journey, the competitions I've had, and how I got into music in the first place. I have not written any songs yet. So uh, I only have the cover song that uh, to uh, show you. So I have three cover songs right now. I will upload more in due course of time. I would like to uh, show a part of the first song. Ma'am, I'm sorry, it is not audible. You can't hear now? Can you hear me now? Ma'am, like the it? music is not audible. The song is not audible. Okay, just give me a second. I'll just share it with the screen, with the sound. Is it audible now? Yes. Yeah. A little soft. Uh, can you maybe yes. increase the volume? It's Thousand spotlights, all the stars steal through the night sky. 
of light. All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Never be enough. Towers of gold hold us still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough. Never be enough for me. Never, 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 never for me, for me. So next is the blog page. You might wonder why does a portfolio need a blog? Well, because in this blog, I can voice my own uh, opinions about certain music terms or start from new music terms on myself or give any advice. Um, Mom, can you please move to the next page? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. So uh, I mentioned before that I do certain competitions. So in case if anyone wants to meet with me, they uh, they know my uh, they can see my schedule and whenever I'm free, so they can schedule a thirty minute meeting with me. Uh, the last page is contact. So if they want to reach out to me again for competitions or anything else. They can contact me, and um, I've also given my phone number and email. Some of you may not have a website of your own. I hope my project can be an inspiration to who wants to have a strong identity of your own. Thank you. I open the floor for questions. Thank you, Janki. It was a lovely presentation. And uh, yeah, the website is, is beautiful. And uh, uh, the tabs you have given and the description you have given is, is very refreshing. And new thing for me is to schedule. I will definitely schedule the session with you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, Janki, uh, uh, like you have used a, a tool, wix.com, right, for developing the website. Yeah. So can can you show us just one or two edits as an example? Ki okay, how how you while you were developing your website? Ki okay, if you can just show on live ki how you can perform one or two edits. Sure. Um yeah. just a minute. Anything uh, you may like, sir, just for uh, example, edit the phone number, contact number, anything. Just just a sample. Sure, sir. Um, just a minute. <clears throat> uh, sir, I'm sorry, but I might need to keep my video off since my net connectivity is not that great. No, oh, perfect for us. No problem. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, I'll start screen sharing in a second. It's still loading, so I might need to wait uh, for some yes, time. It is, uh, it's coming, uh, Janki. Okay. Like we are able to see the screen, but it's loading. Ah, uh, yes, it's loading for me too. I might need to wait for a few seconds. It might come soon.
Janagi, what I can do is you can close the screen sharing. I'll share my screen and can you describe the editing for uh, Shubham sir? Is that uh, okay for you? Um, Janagi, can, uh, you... Ma can you please repeat? What I'll do is I'll share my screen and can you uh, describe how the editing is done to Shubham okay. sir? Is that okay? Yeah. You can close the screen sharing. Okay. I'm really sorry for the disturbance. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Can you, Janaki, what you can do is can you request the remote control? You can control my screen. Yes, ma'am. Sure. All right. There you go. Uh, okay. So, um, so uh if i want to change the color of uh this this is not the uh, editor side so i won't be able to show you but i'll tell you instead so over here when we left click we'll see an option called design and over there when we go we'll be able to choose different colors or uh different colors if i don't like this pink i can choose a pale red one or any color i can any color i like and um, and uh, if I want to uh, delete um, a blog or I want to add a blog or anything like that, um, in the editor side, I can simply go, I can simply left click and delete or add. Uh, so if is there anything else you would like to see? No, I, I get it, Janke. So the purpose is to like uh, for for all those who are in, uh, aspiring to have their own website, how can they be easily develop their own? Okay. Yeah. And one, one last feedback, Janke, is like, uh, so this is particularly about a cappella, right? So yeah. which is like music without any instrument. Yeah. Uh, am I right? Okay. So... Yeah. So, like for me, it it is a uh, like I know this terminology. Okay, for many of the people in India, it might be a new terminology. Okay, so anywhere on your website, if you can just just describe what a capilla is. Okay, in just just a phrase or something like that. Uh, so it's that actually be... there in a blog. Yeah. My for my uh, there's an article on my blog about a capilla. Okay. Okay. And that I. Is... Yeah, I'll sure. be posting my uh, website link in the chat if anyone of you wants to uh, view it more deeply. Sure, Janki. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It was beautiful. Thank you, sir. So, hi, Janki. That was Hello, really nice. Thank um, you, ma'am. Really enjoyed going through your website. And also, you're quite a talented singer. Thank you. And, uh, you know, the design of the website also was very simple, yet quite informative. Uh, I feel that uh, to anyone who wants to, uh, you know, uh, pick up vocal music, it is a good platform, very simple, yet quite, you, you know, it seems like your website is speaking to the person who's, uh, you know, accessing it. So nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janki. Thank you, judges, uh, for your precious words. Um, so with that, the web development domain comes to an end. And I hope everyone liked it. Um, and I hope everyone got some ideas on web development. So next, uh, we call upon Abhimanyu. Uh, over to you, Abhimanyu. Thank you, Nithi. So why don't we give a big round of applause to all the participants? Now, all the websites were really unique. Now, there is a domain other than web development, which brings together all the doctors and engineers that is uh, biomedical. Our next set is biomedical headed by Servish Sai MD. Over to you, Servish. Thank you, Abhimanyu. Good evening. 
Have we ever imagined a world with no vaccines or medicines, especially in this pandemic situation? I'm a 13 year old who's curious about how the world would survive without any treatment or cure. This is Sarveer Sai of Grade 7 from the Kol Chempaka taking this opportunity to talk about one of the how and why sessions that fascinated me with, which is biomedical. I enjoyed learning biology in school, which motivated me to become a doctor or a nurse. With the same inspiration, I attended biomedical session where a mentor started off with why biomedical field is important. The body of every living thing functions in a certain way, so does a human body. Heart, the most vital organ in a human body and the technologies associated with it mark the beginning of the session. It was engaging that we did hands-on activity of how we can make a prototype of a digital stethoscope at home. This gave me an insight of how technology is advanced even in a basic device used by doctors with a stethoscope. The interactive session made by my mentor helped me understand every part of our body is connected to one another. How we eat, how we sleep, how we think and how we even breathe are all interconnected. The session helped us understand the diseases that can affect our organs, especially lungs. I was curious when the mentor asked, do you know what the device is used to measure the lung capacity? The curiosity marked my most interested part of the session where we created a prototype of spirometer at home. It was even fascinating to measure my own lung capacity right at home. If you look at these technologies, there is always an involvement of engineering and the session gave me an understanding of how doctors and engineers knowingly or unknowingly are connected to each other. Any profession I choose, there will be technology involved in it and it has become a necessary need. It has become a need for every profession. Along with these technologies, we discussed about how robots take over the surgeries and what will be the role of doctors in the future. Although biomedical session ended there, it was followed by artificial intelligence session, which made me wonder how AI will play its role in the medical sector. It's interesting to know how world would change if AI take over in the medical sector. The entire session made me realize my area of interest and dig deeper into this domain, which is why I take this opportunity to introduce my friends. Now, I invite Maithili M. Naya from class seven to present her project. Thank you, Suresh. I'm Maithili M. Naya from Great Sound Magnolia, and I'm here to present about a wheelchair for animals. I want to make a wheelchair for animals because I really love animals. So why do we need this wheelchair? Just like humans, animals can also have limb disabilities. And so they can have cancer in their limbs because of amputations, or they can have genetic defects while birth, or they can actually break their legs while by giving birth to, so actually that can cause many problems for them. Also, abuse is also a very prevalent reason for animal disabilities. Technically, abuse is actually hurting the animal. Many owners actually hurt their animal if they misbehave, or they just neglect it completely. So if it gets an injury, it can get an infection and it can actually cause the animal's death or actually make it live a life of pain. So I want to create this thing so that many animals can get adopted more because I don't know if everybody knows this, but many people avoid to actually adopt animals with disabilities because they think it's actually a trouble to adopt them. Because it's like, it's hard to take care of them. They can't move. They'll just have more problems. So I just want to encourage people to actually adopt more animals. And I also wanted to help people who had animals with disabilities to help their dog or cat move. So first, mainly these animals that get adopted are called strays. So what is the difference between a stray animal and a feral animal? A stray animal is basically an animal that had a home, had an owner, whether it was kicked out or the owner died and lost its home. So stray animals tend to act more scared or they tend to act more agitated while you approach them because they fear that if you adopt them, also they will also harm them and then, you know, make them feel sad again. So basically they try to avoid you at most. But feral's they're more of the aggressive kind because they've never been to a home. They're literally born in the wild and raised in the wild. That's just basically the street. So they have never been to a home. They're just very wild and aggressive because they don't know what human contact will have. They basically think that you are a predator and then they just want to attack you and just 
Not, don't want you to come close to them. So actually, many people are trying to adopt these spirals and sprays and then trying to give them a better life because many spirals say you're attacked by dogs. They can die of rabies. So many people are trying to raise awareness. Basically, in India, many people don't actually care much about dogs. In Western countries, they care a lot about them because they think that dogs are very important. So many, many rescue missions are carried out. And well, in India, many people see dogs as pets and cats as pests. They don't just like, they just want to kill them, throw rocks at them. There are many animal protection rules, but then many people don't follow them because in some times, the dog can have rabies and then dog bites are pretty common in India. So they just think of them as a pet, throw rocks at them, try to kill them, euthanize them, etc. So I just want to create awareness for the disabilities of dogs, encourage people to adopt them and help people who have disabled dogs. So I actually created a small model of this, which I'll just introduce you to. So this is basically a model of a wheelchair. So what are the parts? This is a chest wrap, which basically supports the chest of the animal because I made this wheelchair straightly made for actually amputated and the helmets with amputated legs so then their knees will be amputated off so they just have short legs. So this is not for animals with completely amputated legs or legs available because there's a little difference between each model. So basically this is actually made of straws, tape, velcro, tires and a lot of cloth. In reality, if you want to make this unique tape, you need a lot of pipes, soldering material, T-shaped rods, pipes, extra pipes, because for this part, you need different types of pipes. I prefer metal for this. So also take tiles and you also need some cloth. This is actually a comfort point, which I'll explain soon. So chest strap, as I mentioned, it helps support the animal's body, which can help with aid in movement and can actually provide a supportive balance between the animal to this is basically a seat belt for the animal, a protection strap to rock from the animal, which can help it to move and stay safe. This is where the animal's working legs will go. It actually moves around with the wheels. The wheels will move accordingly to the animal's movements. This is where the divider is. These are the wheels and this is the divider. This is where we separate the amputated legs and the working legs. This is the comfort point or the... We can call it a seat belt, basically. Because this is a seat belt for the broken or amputated legs. So if they are, when your dog dumb or cat runs very fast, the legs will move around for sure. So basically, I want to make a device that can actually just stop the movement. This should be made of soft, comfortable material so that even if it hits, it will not hurt them. I actually made a small model of a dog so that I can show you how it actually fits in. So this is basically the model. So you just have to place your dog or cat inside and then you just have to wrap the velcro around them so that it will stay secure. Then, then close it. And now as you can see, this will fall off. It's secure right now. So as you can see, this will be the working legs and this is the not working. So that these legs are actually elevated. So that basically when you boost the model, it will stay above the ground so that will not touch, rather like you won't touch the ground, because if it touch, friction will occur, and then the dog can have friction burns. So basically, this is an, this is an awareness program, and just make this for awareness. This cannot be used in real life, because it's made of paper straws. So that's basically the model. I actually was inspired by another model to make this. So I'll, um, so I'll just present that model to you. Are you all able to see my screen? Yes. yes. Thank you. So it's just basically in the model. When you see this, you might, the first impression you might think is, boy, it's just the exact same thing you make. What's the difference? Well, there's, it's hard to notice. The difference is actually hard to notice, but I'll just show you this. There's a small difference. So first, I added the chest strap. Because I made this for a different type of amputation. I made this for knee length amputation. Well, this dog has its legs. The legs are intact, so but my dog won't have any legs. From this point on, no legs. And then and that's why I have the chest strap for support, as I mentioned before. I also added an extra protection snap because and then for this dog, the legs are actually on the floor, which means that it can actually 
move the leg around. So it's not actually in danger of moving around and hitting on the pipe and then causing injury. But then my dog, it's actually, legs are actually floating above. So if it moves around, it will surely hit the pipe. So I actually created this extra strap so that I can actually help it to move. So basically, that's it. Thank you. I open the floor for questions. Yeah, great work, Mathalie. Great work. So, and and I'm very sure, like, uh, whatever the purpose and whatever the motive you have set for this prototype, this will definitely go a long way. So, uh, Mathalie, uh, so this is a prototype, and when we will be talking about the main uh, object or the main thing or the main experiment we will be doing, so what would be the approximate weight of this whole uh, wheelchair? won't be too heavy, but it's actually according to your dog size. If your dog is a Chihuahua, it will be very light. If your dog is a Husky, it will be comparatively higher. It's according to the dog size because the wheels and the types of pipes used are actually according to which type of dog or your dog size and its age. Okay. And it is only for dogs slash cats or... Uh... This may have dog models basically made for dogs and cats, but then there are actually many other models... Very similar kind of animals for many other animals, like hamsters, tortoises, etc. And this model is basically made for dogs and cats, but their body anatomy is pretty similar so that they both can actually use this similarly. Okay, okay. okay. Nice one, Mathli. Nice one. So, Mathli, um, you've actually touched my heart. And uh, the reason is that. Um, I am equally passionate about animals and especially dogs. And in fact, I do have a dog who is uh, disabled, whose hind legs don't work. And believe you me, I, I face a lot of problems when it comes to, because I don't want uh, my pet to have an incomplete life. And you rightly said that the world actually is pretty uh, insensitive or uh, you know blind to the fact that these animals exist. They are there. And, uh, you know, we, we need to give them, and they, they are actually very human friendly. But unfortunately, because of our own activities, we have kind of created a bunch of dogs who, who don't like being with humans. But if, if everything would have been going good, there is not a single dog who would hate humans or who would harm humans. And I, I really feel, um, you know, that, that you, you have thought about it. The very thought, the very idea deserves so much credit, so much credit, uh, Metli, because the world, especially in our country, people don't feel for them. You know, uh, I have been looking for prosthetics for my dog. If I want to take my dog for a holiday, for a vacation, for travel, I can't because he can't walk. Otherwise a healthy dog, but suffering from arthritis. So if we could have some sort of uh, avenue where, where we could make prosthetics for dogs, some, some aids for dogs, it would be really good. And which are not so expensive because not everybody can afford expensive uh, you know, uh, accessories from US, right? And I've been looking at it and, uh, and I've been uh, surfing it. And no, I have not been able to get it. And, you know, this is like a ray of hope. I hope you grow up and you are able to, uh, you know, create so many more such models. And, and uh, you know, it will help thousands and thousands of dogs in our country uh, who deserve a good quality life and care. So thank you so much. This is so beautiful. I, I don't have enough words to even express what you've done. It's not just the design. It, it's, the, it's the beginning of a design, which is so necessary. And uh, because you thought about it, you, you moved in that direction. And I think that's a great step. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, judges, for your feedback. Let's give a, a round of applause. Now I invite Abirami. Now I invite Abirami from class six to present her project.
Greetings all. My name is Aburame and I'm in the sixth grade. I'm a person who has multiple hobbies. One of my main hobby is psychology. Psychology is the study of mind and behavior. The tiny details left behind have a big impact on psychology, and one of which is color. Color, in a way, is a secret language to express emotions and convey signals. Colors can have a variety of emotions on us. Color causes different reactions in our mind, and it actually depends on what color it is. And the study based on this is called color psychology. We see color through a thin layer of skin in the back region of our eye called the retina. Inside the retina, there are multiple light detecting cells known as cones and nodes. Cones are color detecting cells. They are of three types, green, red, and blue. The cones detect color, and when color is received by our eyes, the cones send signals to the brain and tricks our brain into seeing millions of colors by two or more cones combining. Color psychology is used in many departments in the world, education, healthcare, marketing, designing, and many more. In marketing and designing, color psychology is used to give customers or viewers a first good impression on your product. And certain colors can also attract customers to your product. And it actually is based on what the vision of the company is. In designing, logos are designed for certain companies and it has a certain identity for the company. For example, the logo of Google. When we see the logo of Google, we, it suddenly clicks in our mind. Yes, that's the logo of Google. And in this way, I've picked totally random but famous uh, logos, and I would like to explain why they are certain colors. Ma'am, could you please screen share? Why certain logos are in a certain color? So I've chosen five logos, like I've said earlier. And the logos I've chosen are WhatsApp, Twitter, the UN logo, the uh, logo of Coca-Cola, and Google. So my first logo is WhatsApp. The color of the logo in WhatsApp is green. This is, well, actually the reason is it shows a sense of, it needs to give us a sense of security. Most of us must have noticed it, in WhatsApp, uh, there is a notification. We can't say it exactly as a notification, but it's written that you have your own private conversations. We uh, respect your privacy and you can have your own privacy. You can trust us. This way, WhatsApp actually wants to tell you that you can have our trust. We won't spread your private conversations. It's all for you. And actually the green, the color green also shows this. And it shows trust, um, reliability and security. The next color, I'm sorry, the next logo I have is Twitter. The logo of Twitter is a bird in blue color. The color blue, just like the color green, shows trust, enjoyment, relaxation. Like in Twitter, you can send topics and you can enjoy your time. And it also has trust in privacy reasons. The third logo I have is the UN logo. The UN logo is in the color of blue and white. The color white, I, when we think of angels, the color that they are dressed in is white. So we can say in a sense like in heaven, God, and all that's represented in, the, represented in the color white. So in that way, peace, harmony, and trust is what the UN logo wants to give us. You can trust the United Nations. The fourth logo I have, is the Coca-Cola logo. Actually, there isn't a very big reason why Coca-Cola's um, logo is in red and white, but most soft drinks and other alcohol-based drinks were mostly in the combination of white, red, and black. So combination mattered a lot in Coca-Cola, as well as the color red encouraged appetite. 
mostly in packets, um, in food packets and all, the color red is shown. And even in most of the fast food restaurants, the color red is shown there. It is because the color red causes appetite encouragement in us. It makes us hungry. For some reason, the color red makes us hungry. Actually, the reason uh, would be because it alters your high blood pressure and it can cause your digestive system to react fast and you'll want to eat. Like it suddenly as it increases blood pressure, you will suddenly feel hungry. The fifth logo I have is of Google. And the Google logo has three, uh, sorry, four primary colors, which are blue, green, uh, yellow, and red. These are all the primary colors that we know. And what uh, Google would like to show with these colors would actually be, in Google, we can get various kinds of emotions, right? Like there are sad topics, you can get, you can be sad, you can be happy, you can be calm, you can get excited. So everything is there in Google. And in that way, Google shows that everything is present in it and it's quite a unique logo. Google is said to have changed its logo multiple times. This is not because the old logo was boring, but they wanted something unique and something that suddenly sparks our mind. Yes, this is the logo of Google. So in this uh, way, other departments also, like education, health, and healthcare use certain colors. They use certain colors like white, blue, and green, especially in hospitals. When we think of hospitals, we think of the color white. Suddenly, suddenly clicks in our mind. It's because hospital wants us to give uh, a sense of purity and cleanliness. Most walls in hospitals are painted in blue or green. This is actually because to make the patients comfortable and like ex explained in Twitter in the logos, it actually gives you a sense of security. That's why in most Western countries, uh, police officers wear the color blue. It shows sense of security and safety. In education, many colors, like not many colors, main color is actually blue. Most of the walls in education uh, in schools is in the color of blue. This is actually to make students comfortable in what they're learning and it will like make the students more comfortable and blue is also said to increase brain activity. More, if, maybe all of us have noticed like our teachers always mark our papers in the color red. This is because red is an alerting color. It alerts us a lot and it has a, it's like strong or powerful in a way, it just projects in our eye. This is because of the wavelength of red. So that the color red is least scattered by air, water, and dust molecules. And thus it's strong and powerful and it has the highest wavelengths among all the other colors. But that is the opposite for certain colors like blue and violet, which, it cause, which causes rather calming effects. And that's the reason why it's uh, said to be comfortable. Color can change our mood, our heartbeat, and our pulse. And in this way, we, I've thought of conducting an activity based on this. Um, I'm sorry, actually a notification popped up. So, I have some issue. So I'll be continuing. Color can change our mood, our heartbeat, and our pulse. And our pulse and many more. And color, color psychology can actually affect how you put yourself in a certain situation. Or like, for example, what is the best color to wear to your office? Or what would be the worst color in a particular situation? What kind of room should I sit in when I'm feeling sad or happy or some in the in like some things like that so based on this I've conducted an activity I request all of you to do it and it's actually a poll it will be coming soon I've made five situations for you guys and you guys between three uh, questions will have to pick it and I'm going to launch the poll right now
Um, may I end the poll now? You can, Abby. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I've ended the poll, and here are the results. So at first, attending, I gave up the first situation as attending a friend's birthday party. And here the most color chosen was blue and pink. And the other colors like gray and white or purple and black wasn't chosen. This is actually because um, attending a friend's birthday party is a joyous occasion. And we prefer bright colors rather than dull colors like purple, black, gray, and white. The second situation given was funeral service. And here, black and gray was the color that was most chosen. But blue and green and yellow and white wasn't chosen. This is because funeral service and funerals have a very sad atmosphere. And this makes us want to be in dull colors rather than bright colors. For attending in an interview, blue and black was chosen, gray and purple or white and pink wasn't chosen at all. This is the reason. The reason is blue and black. It has this kind of an effect to it. Blue and black is one of the greatest colors you could wear to an interview. Black gives a serious kind of an expression in you and blue can be calming and it is a very good combination to go with. In a wedding, uh, white and red has been chosen the most. Then came pink and yellow. As in a wedding, it is a joyous occasion. And the colors they would probably prefer, people would probably prefer, would be white and red and pink and yellow rather than colors that depict very much agony, like black and red. To your, the last situation was going to your office and the most color chosen was black and white, which is a really good combination. As black and white is a color where it is, white is a very good color to go with another neutral color like black, which is a very dark color and other colors like navy blue and dark blue. Yellow and red wasn't chosen most of the time is because when you go to an office, you need to show a good impression that you want to be considered serious and you want to have a kind of an identity to yourself. And yellow and red is not a very good color for that. And blue and brown was also taken, which is also a very good color to wear to your office. So in this way, learning about colors can change your lifestyle completely. You can dress yourself in a different way, what mood you are in. Like if you're sad, the best room for you to be seated in would be a yellow color room because it gives you joy and happiness. And in this way, it can change your lifestyle completely in a good way and you can live your life colorful. Thank you. I open the floor to questions. Yeah, thank you, Virami. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, nice concept, Virami. Well, it's it's like uh, refreshing, and as well as it's like 
new for most of us and you have uh, built together a, a great thing to learn uh, and to kind of unbox it to have a kind of a therapy so abhirami i just want to know that the topic is color therapy okay and you have explained uh, every bit of it ki okay this color is because of this this color is because of this and there is some affinity of us towards that particular color okay so uh, one example is also ki when we would be checking into our hotels where we are uh, going anywhere okay you particularly see the color of the bed sheets and the pillow is always white like most of the time it's always white so ready for anyone with any color so abhirami i just want to know ki okay what exactly this the 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 project of yours is providing to the customers okay so what exactly is the therapy you want to give as a color therapy part um actually i just wanted to show that the tiniest tiniest details left behind actually have a great impact on us and if we focus on the little details it can really help us with the big ones as well and i just wanted to show like for example in color psychology it can really help you in some in certain times and how you show to other people uh, how you dress in front of other people like i've said it um it is like a very important thing as we can make ourselves comfortable and we can make others comfortable as well so that's what i have to say okay okay so yeah uh, so abhinav मतलब इट्स लाइक वेयर आई एम कमिंग फ्रॉम इज लाइक ईच प्रोटोटाइप और ईच प्रोजेक्ट डेवलपमेंट शुड सी सम बिट ऑफ चेंज इन द इधर इन द डिसीजन मेकिंग और मस्ट क्रिएट एन इम्पैक्ट ओके सो आई आई मस्ट से ओके दिस वुड हैव अ ह्यूज इम्पैक्ट ऑन द साइकोलॉजिकल पीस ऑफ द कस्टमर्स बट आई आई रियली वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट कि ओके वट ऑल दिस थेरेपी इफ आई सब्सक्राइब टू kind of a color therapy thing what all i will get to change either my decision making or what exactly i am looking forward to abirami mm-hmm. just give me one minute uh, sir i just wanted to add i think she missed mentioning this uh, she uh, we allowed students to either do a prototype or to do research on the field that they would really want to engage and throw light onto abirami did not want to work on creating a model she wanted to share information related to that particular field so that people are more aware of why things are in a certain way i think she missed mentioning that so hers is not into the product development uh, field so okay. hers is from okay. the research domain yeah fine 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 so interesting topic uh, abirami I, i am very impressed with the presentation and it is something for m- me to learn as well so thank you thank you so much abirami Thank you, sir. Yeah, Abhirami, good subject of research, I would say. Uh, and also, you started off with logos. Uh, you know, the design of logos, and then you went on to describe the color in the logo and how it wanted to uh, kind of impact the viewers or the the people who are who are the ones who are using it. But when you talk about therapy, you know. Uh, when you talk about the science behind therapy it is that there is somebody who's in distress and you you know you are trying to bring about some comfort in that person right correct me if if i'm at on the right path you know but that's what therapy is all about so there's some problem or distress and there's some amount of comfort which some kind of treatment is being given so i uh, kind of didn't quite uh, Uh, you know uh, got convinced about how colors can be therapeutic yes colors do have relevance but then you could have kind of uh focused or expanded upon how anybody who has some sort of uh, issue is being helped with colors right so that was something which i found uh, was you know kind of uh found wanting in your presentation or your research rest everything was very interesting and fascinating thank you so much thank you mom 
Thank you, judges, for your feedback. Let's give her a round of applause. Now, I invite Anamika from Class 7 to present her project. Thank you, Sarvesh. I hope you all can hear me. Yes, we can. Okay. Hello, all. My name is Anamika Lakshmi Pillai, and I study in Grade 7 Hyacinth. The topic I have chosen is biomedical. Amidst this COVID surge, we used to hear about people dying every day uh, due to the lack of immediate ventilator support. I am now glad that the uh, COVID rates and severity has dropped, but there are still people with uh, breathing problems such as asthma and mental disorders such as anxiety have to constantly worry about their oxygen levels dropping whenever they get panic attacks. There are also viruses such as black fungus, which causes symptoms such as shortness of breath. My mother and grandmother also have asthma and have been, uh, and my grandmother has been to the hospital because of a severe asthma attack. So that's when I thought, why don't I make a homemade ventilator that is cost effective as my project. Now let me show you on my model and explain its structure and working. I hope everyone can see it. I hope everyone, I hope everyone can see it now. Uh, all yes, these green parts are uh, made out of acrylic and are laser cut. This part is called the base plate. It mounts all the major pieces such as the, the arms that hold this ambivag in place. This is the major arm. It holds, it mounts the motor and these two arms. This motor is mounted using a motor mounting plate and a crankshaft. This shaft connects the crank to this longer arm. The longer arm is connected to the shorter arm using a connecting rod. I also have a few pivot points and this is one of them. It connects these two surfaces together and allows them to slide and move each other. I also have two arm points. The fulcrum is the point at which the lever moves. So um, this ful the fulcrum helps an object to um, push, pull, lift, or throw. In this case, it helps the um, arm to it helps the arms to squeeze the ambu bag. I also have a speed controller, as you can see, which is uh, which controls the rate and depth of the breathing, and that is connected to a power supply. Now let me explain its working. So when this power supply is plugged in, the power goes to the speed controller so that when I uh, switch it on, the, uh, the disc rotates and the arm squeeze the ambi bag and the uh, speed controller makes sure that the motor gets enough torque. Torque is the force, uh, this is the amount of force that allows an object to rotate around its axis. But since my motor is not getting enough torque, I will rotate it manually for now. As you can see, when I'm rotating this disc, the arms, uh, the rotational motion gets converted into oscillatory motion using this crankshaft. So when I'm rotating this, this arm pushes down and using this connecting rod, this arm pulls up and that effectively squeezes the ambi bag. For this ambi bag, we can use a mask like this, or we can use an endotracheal tube. I used acrylic just for this prototype. But we can use any scrap, uh, we can use any wood such as plywood or any other metal such as aluminum. So in conclusion, fast deployment, scalability, low cost and compact size are the main advantages for the common man to use the model I'm talking about today. We can also improvise by adding patient parameters such as CO2 sensors and blood pressure sensors so that we can actually automate the pumping of the ambi bag to make sure that the patient gets enough air. Thank you for listening to my presentation. And now I open the floor for questions. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anamika. Wonderful presentation. Thank you, and uh, the, the best part uh, for me is like, uh, it, it is not that heavy. And uh, this, this is really, really scalable as well. So that the cost will come down and definitely we can have it on the uh, commercial side of it as well. Yes, sir. So 
so anamika uh, i just want to know about uh, uh, the the motor thing so how how much hp would it take so have it i am not um, very sure about that sir okay okay so uh, is there anyone who have helped you to create all this um other than the laser cutting and uh, the soldering uh, i did the rest okay the soldering and the laser cutting were done otherwise my father did this whole okay. thing okay okay and and how much time it it took for you to uh, complete this project it took around a, a week and a half to complete great great nice anamika thank you thank you for the present welcome sir i couldn't quite get the speed part anamika what is the importance of speed with uh, what you were saying uh, or which the motor was doing um so then the motor so when i rotate this disc the rotational motion from the motor gets converted into oscillatory motion so um that when this um it is uses this crankshaft so that it uh, squeezes the ambi bag using the arms okay so if you need more oxygen you will have to press it faster Uh, yes ma'am yeah um, but since we can actually use um uh, speed controllers as well to help um, increase the speed uh, speed and it will help the patients to get more air and what is inside the bag uh which bag ma'am the amb bag or yeah amb bag inside yeah it's a uh, filtered air it's a surrounding air that's bound inside the ambi bag and it's filtered so that when it goes through the mask and the patient can see air it will be um, oxygen it will be high levels of oxygen and how do you refill it we don't have to refill it okay there's a filter attached to it uh no ma'am there is a filter system inside the ambi bag itself okay thank you welcome ma'am thank you judges for your feedback let's give her a round of applause thank you friends for sharing your projects and biomed it was impressive to see your projects which you have worked on within 4 to 6 hours over to you abhimanyu Thank you, Kavi. Let's give a round of applause for the participants. Now, I would like to inform you that there are only four more presentations left. So, thank you for your patience. It was really interesting to see how technology can be useful for uh, living beings, especially animals. Technology can be helpful for many different purposes, and animation is one of them. Our next set is animation headed by Mithun Jokiran. The stage is yours, Mithun. Thank you, everybody. So when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of cartoons, and I've never stopped loving cartoons. I can still look at them and enjoy them. Good evening. This is Mithun Jokiran from Grade Seven Magnolia, here to share my experience in the animation session from How and Where. I enjoyed watching animated movies and was very curious about the making of these movies. how complex it would be to create an animation is it something only a professional can do i was excited and waiting for the animation session announced by the mentors the nostalgic moments flashed through my head when my mentor discussed about puppet shows and the flipbook concept the persistence of vision was a concept used in the past for achieving animation the history in animation discussed in class was also very interesting that made me to think how much the animation field has changed what programming languages are used for animation i saw only the technical side of coding and was not aware of how fun and useful it can be until scratch website was introduced the block based programming helped me to try different codes and understand which code i need to use for my animation the animation we started off was about the rabbit and tortoise race and it was fun to see the uniqueness of each animation in the class along with my mentor 
I try to make my animation unique and creative. My passion towards animation started and I was motivated when my mentor gave me an insight on the wide range of job opportunities animation can bring in the future. Applications and career paths in animation include advertising, visual effects, gaming, art, modeling, and so on were discussed. Interestingly, animation can also be used for learning. Visualizing makes me to understand concepts faster. So why not create an animation on the working of a heart as we've already study that in the biomedical session. Creating animated poems, stories, and songs found, sound fun too. I'm still, looking, I'm still looking forward for different features Scratch provides to improve my animation. It's surprising to see like, that animation started off as just a drawing to 3D and virtual reality we see nowadays. I wonder what the animation field will be 10 years from now. The session ended off with happiness and fun animation had created in the class. Thus, animation session was by far my favorite from Hanuman. I thank my school for giving me this opportunity to experience something and learn something that I could never, that I thought I could never. I now take the privilege to introduce my friends who graded animation with the same passion and enthusiasm. Up first, we have Mayuk Dev. Mayuk, the stage is yours. Thank you, Mr. Good evening, everyone. I am Mayu Dev from Grade 8 Second Group. My hobbies are making animations and doing crafts. I have chosen the animation domain because I love to create animations and I am interested in coding. I have seen many animations created by others and I have always wanted to create one. I am also very fascinated in how the animation works, so I started to learn how it works. My project is about the pandemic that we are facing now. I have observed that many people are not following proper precautions against COVID-19. Many people are not wearing masks and there are people who are coughing or having cold and still not following the COVID-19 protocols. So I made an animation to remind the people that they should follow the proper precautions. Can you see the screen? Uh, yes, yes, we can. Yeah, we can hear it. Sharon, don't go out. Sharon, the government has put many restrictions. Don't worry, nothing will happen to me. At least put your mask on. I am in a hurry. Now I need to go. Hi friends. Hi Sharon. Hello. Hi. Come let's go to my house. Yeah. Inside the house. Let's play some games. <coughs> Excuse me. Two hours later. Time for me to go. The kid returned home and after two days. Hello. Hello. Can I get an ice cream? Yes. <coughs> Okay. Thanks. After a day the kid was sick and the doctor told that the kid had got corona. Hello doctor, what is the result? Hello. Sharon had got corona positive. What can 
we do now? We specifically don't know how to treat corona, but we can give him medicine for lung infection and throat infection. He has breathing problems. We might need to keep him at the hospital under observation. Unfortunately, the treatment is going to be costly. What will we do? We only have the pension money. We will figure something out. Since you are old, we will not allow you to meet your grandson. At hospital. While the ice cream man also got COVID positive. We will miss our dad. How are the kids? I am okay. The kids are also okay. How are you? I am going fine. How is the budget and all? You don't think about it. We will manage it. The ice cream man's wife sold many of his belongings to manage the budget. Here is your money. The ice cream man and the kids started to recover by taking medicines for a week. Two weeks later. Hello, doctor. Hello. What is the result? Sharon is now COVID negative. Everything will get okay by a two week. Ice Cream Man is COVID negative and now he is back to business. Should we buy items from his shop? He had got Corona before. Corona does not spread through food. It spreads through air. And now he is negative, so we can buy items from him. And so, as you can see here, there are more than four crores of people who have been affected by corona. There have been more than five lakhs of people who have died. And luckily, there are 90, more than 90% of people who have recovered from corona. Now, you can see the total coronavirus cases in India. In February 15, 2020, there was no number of cases. And it remains till, till June 10 because people are following the proper precautions. Later, when the people started to relax, the rate of the coronavirus cases started to increase. When the coronavirus cases started to increase, people were scared and they started to follow the precautions. And at the time of March 27th, due to the festivals and all, People relaxed and they all were going out. So there was a high increase there and increased from 13 lakhs to 28 lakhs. And then when that increase occurred, the people got scared. So they again started to follow the precautions. At January 11, after the Christmas celebration and there was New Year celebration, so again at that time, the people relaxed, so the cases got high. Now you can see the bar graph of the daily new cases in India. This is the first wave of COVID. It started from June 8 and ended in January 4. In the peak point of it, there more than 97,000 people got affected. This is the second wave of COVID. It started from March 17 and ended in August 8. In the peak point, there more than 4 lakhs of people got affected. This is the third wave of COVID, which started from December 30, and it is still now. And at the peak point, is more than 3 lakhs of people. 
the fourth day is coming and the offices and schools have started reopening so there's a chance that it may affect the children also so we need to be careful with the fourth phase this is the active cases in india and this is just like before you can see the peak point is more than 9 lakh of people this is the first year this is the second year where there are more than 3 crores of people this is the third year where there are more than 2 lakhs of people this is the corona virus deaths in india where at first it was so just like before and the festival and all came and people started to relax and they got affected by corona the deaths also started to increase and this was the peak increase of the deaths where it increased from 1 lakh to 3 lakh and you can see the bar graph of daily deaths in india this is the first wave of covid the peak that was more than 1000 and the second wave took most of the deaths and there were four lakh people the third day didn't take much deaths now this is the newly infected and the newly recovered people in india almost everyone was got infected and everyone also recovered this is the first wave and this is the second wave and this is the third wave thank you thank you mayuk while uh, you were exploring your own uh, passion for animation uh, this this animated video has a huge social impact as well it's it's huge and it's a beautifully made video uh, and it is giving the special message in a very crisp manner in one or one and a half minutes you have explained everything and especially for the kids of your age this this video will go so far so uh, mayuk i just want to know uh, which platform have you used for this animation sir i have used scratch only i have recorded it in the video because it's scratch and i screen share the network lag so the messages like the comments it pop up will lag okay okay so you you have recorded a video and you have uh, just put it on a platform and then you have edited those bubbles no sir i have created the animation in scratch yeah. then i have recorded it to show it okay 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 so uh, mayuk uh, your your temper for for this making this animation is is great uh, what the next version of this video i want to see is the improvement in some of the little granular things in the in the like animation of a boy animation of these old age men old age women but as a whole uh, you have done a pretty good job and and thanks thanks for uh, showing this presentation in a beautiful manner that's all my okay thank you sir exactly mayuk what uh, shubham just said a uh, good uh, concept and good message uh, you developed a storyline then you developed a character which was quite similar to your age group so so that you know that we, we could identify with that character and also you uh, also you know kind of created an environment around that character and uh, some of the myths associated with corona also were busted in this film and i think uh, you you used a uh, text very wisely and you used dialogues very wisely and you you kind of uh, it's amazing the kind of work you did so i'm pretty impressed thank you thank you ma'am thank you for your feedback judges uh, let's have a round of applause for mayuk up next we have aditya arun aditya the stage is yours thank you madam Good evening everyone present here. My name is Aditya Arun and I am from Grade 6 Blue Bills. I have selected the domain animation. When I was a child, I always wonder how did the developers create animations and games? So one day I got to learn about Scratch. I started coding in it. I got to know interesting things to do in Scratch. So when the Howl and Wild competition came, 
I thought uh, of taking a chance to show my world my projects. So my project is a silent animation because uh, I didn't find any voice suitable for my characters. My project is about a blue sphere named Rio who wakes up on a day to find something strange has happened. What happens next? Let's find out, shall we? Can you see? It's loading. Yes, we can see now. Okay, so I'm uh, sharing this uh, in a video because uh, if I take it in website or app, it will lag, lag very hard. So I have put in this. After defeating Dark, Rio woke up, and found that he was still on his bed, everything was back to normal. Or was it? Hope everyone enjoyed my presentation. So, now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to share it on scratch so everyone shall be able to see the magic. And I also hope that this gets featured on scratch. I'm also planning to make a series based on this animation. Thank you. Now I open the floor for questioning. Yeah, Aditya. Aditya, can, can we see the backend code for this animation? Yes, sir. So wait a minute, I'll just share it. So 
so this is the code so can you see uh, it's it's white for me if yes yeah, sir, i think it's speech. loading sir okay i took it open for a long time mm -hmm. sir now can you yes we can see Okay. So this is the. So so Aditya, in your animation, uh, first of all, at if for my first impression, it's like uh, the conversation when uh, when the Rio's quest was started, it's like too text heavy, and the timers you have put in between the conversation is is uh, low. Like for example, there is very quick conversation going on while I was still reading the text. Okay, and the and the screen disappeared onto the next screen. So first feedback is definitely you can uh, check away with your code and you can place the timers accordingly for the next screen holder. Okay, and and yeah, and you you have developed something on your own imagination, a beautiful storyline. Uh, but for the larger masses, when you would be going, if I say public to or to have it for the masses, just see ki, okay how well. A layman or a or a normal guy who is not equipped with animation can adopt it very easily. So in just one or one and a half minutes, what you have shown is to the best of your imagination. But take this video to some or the other ten to fifteen people and just take the feedbacks from them so that you can improve your video in the sense of the content plus the timings plus how the acceptance of this animation. Yes, sir. So this is my feedback, but otherwise you have developed it very nicely, very nicely, Arit. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Yes. So uh, again, the story was pretty fascinating, full of action. I'm not a technical person, Aditya. So for me, all of these animations are very good, uh, and and you've done a brilliant job. Uh, and also, uh, you know. Uh, in terms of depth of character, if it could be more, uh, you know, more real, uh, it could have been, you know, more engaging, I would say. And like uh, Shubham said that things were moving pretty fast. So we could not uh, comprehend one frame and then it moved to the next one. So that was one thing which I felt. But other than that, there was a lot of action and drama in your story. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback, judges. Let's have a round of applause for Aditya's wonderful presentation. Next up, we have Aditev CK. Aditev, the stage is yours. Thank you, Mithil. Good evening, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Aditev CK. I had selected the project animation from my childhood itself. I'm in quite fond of cartoons and animations like Tom and Jerry and more. I always used to wonder how they created such animations and I was also very curious to learn the techniques. When I heard about the How I Met program, I instantly knew that it was a great opportunity for me to learn new techniques and greatly improve my animation. My animation is about anim stopping animal cruelty and animal adoption. When I was young, I saw a cat being tortured by two people. While one was standing on its tail, the other was poking it and hitting it with sticks. I was meant, I was traumatized. I know many of you guys have been in the same situation before, where you are you have been able to do nothing for the poor animal. That is why I created this animation to spread the awareness. Let's see the animation now. Hello. Uh, I believe it's still loading. Oh, ah, yeah. No, no, okay, it's here. Okay.
Hey there. What are you doing here? I wonder why she is following me. Bye, doggy. Here you go. Here you go again. I wonder where she is now. <laughs> hey! Stop! Help me take these puppies to the hospital. Sure, come on in fast. Hi, doctor. How are the puppies? Oh, I'm sorry to say, but uh, one puppy has uh, sadly passed away. The other puppies have big injuries too. Oh no, what can we do? Uh, they are just street dogs. Uh, shall we just euthanize them? No. Look, without uh, anyone to look after them, they are as good as dead. Then I will adopt them and look after them. Okay, but uh, there are some other things to do before adoption. Like what? One of our representatives will uh, come to your house and fill up a form. That's it? That's it. Hey, your wounds are almost healed. Yay! I hope you all got the message. The, the Animal Act of 1960 made it illegal to injure or kill an animal. If you are an animal lover, you could donate to an animal shelter or do the greatest thing. Adopt an animal from a shelter. Adopting an animal from an animal shelter isn't a very complex thing like you think it is. It is actually very simple. All you have to do is choose your pet and then one of the representatives will come to your house and verify your house details. In the future, I, I, in the future, my future plan for this animation is to improve it and add Maithili's wheelchair as it can help injured animals or uh, help uh, animals who have been abused if with her permission and then post it in several social media net, uh, social media platforms so to spread the awareness thank you i open the floor for questions Thanks, Hadi. Your last line was actually a pitch of, is is like a pitch on Shark Tank India. I will use Mathalie's wheelchair and I will put into animation and make it more, uh, more bigger than what it actually is. So great, Adidev, you have built a, a nice video. The landscapes you have used are very nice. Uh, the colors are very nice. Uh, Adidev, can we see uh, any edit on this video live or it will take some time to do it? Um, it it actually depends on what it is. I'll share my screen. I have the code open right now. I can share my screen and I'll try to do it. If it'll yeah, take ju ju just, time, just a small care. edit, very small edit, uh, very quickly if you can do. Yes, sir. Hmm.
please tell me when you, uh, when you can see abhimanyu we can see it now oh yeah we can see it so what do you want me to change anything anything are there you i just oh. want to check oh, okay. okay what is it for the larger audience ki how they can do it hmm. oh, okay okay if like the rain drop rain drop is like uh, i can easily change the speed of the rain drop by just uh, setting the speed of this if i put 2 seconds it will go really slowly but then if i change the time to like 0.5 it will go really really fast or if you want to make a character move if you want to make a character move you can just put repeat move then you can change the timing to make it smoother as well like i put 0.07 because it was the most smooth uh timing i could find and then yeah. if i put 0.0.1 it will become a bit more like less smoother most like this. right 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 thanks adidev so uh, my my personal feedback is to uh, re- rework on this and make another version of this uh, and you have already mentioned to improve upon this animation but right now it's looking perfectly fine thanks thanks adidev for this thank you sir again uh, uh, adi very good work good concept good team you've chosen and um, th- there needs to be of course some improvement in terms of the flow of the story uh, yeah. that was not very very uh, i would say smooth but uh, it, the, it seemed to be fragmented but other than that the theme is very good and i'm sure a little bit of editing and improvement will make it very very appealing thank you ma'am thank you i think thank you for your feedback judges uh, and at last but certainly not least we have triambak ss triambak the stage is yours thank you mitha um and before i start my animation i just wanted to give a short compliment for adidev i know that he have uh, he like uh, had took a lot of work to do like this animation uh, i just wanted to just uh, like congratulate him. Just before I start. Nice. Hello everyone, I'm Triam Bakestas from grade 6. And I'm here to show, uh, show my animation. The do- why I had chosen animation for the domain because uh, whenever I see animation, I, it always reminds me of those old times where me and abhimanyu are you there yes uh, yeah trembak are you there i trembak can you hear me hello hello trembak yes yes uh, trembak if you can hear as your voice is not clear your video is stuck also we left uh so ma'am why don't we move on can we move on you can abhimanyu once trembak is back i'll let you know i think that's the last presentation anji ah uh, yes ma'am ah uh, yeah trembak is back uh, can anybody hear me yes yes ah uh, i have some kind of network problem i can't see anybody properly yeah Uh, as, as I was saying, I chose animation because it always reminds me of the times when me and my grandma were, 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 would sit and watch Tom and Jerry. Uh, 
even though this animation was time consuming uh, i had a lot of memorable experiences while making this animation and i also wanted to ask a question do you like space if you do so where did you get your information type it in the comment section below uh, from where i actually got the information i have right now is from a tv show called how the universe works there is a book also if you don't prefer uh, like watching tv uh, i have also read a book by stephen hawking uh, i'll send the uh, send the name soon uh, after i play my animation so hope you like it uh, like the animation uh, let me just share my screen Can everybody hear the screen? Yes, we can see. It. Yes, we can. Can everybody hear it? Yes. Hello, Trembok. I think and, you are yeah. having a glitch again. Oh yeah, now it's on. Am I audible? Yes. I know you are. Hello, Trimbak. Uh, we can't clearly hear. Yeah, we can't hear it properly. Uh, so, Trimbak, I think you can stop sharing. Uh, Janessa, ma'am, uh, can you please share the animation for him? Yes, sure. I'll do. My name is Ryan Buck and I am the first person to go to the center of our galaxy so let's get in our shuttle visit you before I go I go to the black hole Sagittarius A star. That's interesting. Hope you reach there safely. And by the way, when do you think other people will come to me? I think by 2025 you will see more people because of the Artemis program. It plans to put man on the moon. Well that's awesome. I feel lonely most of the time. Thanks for the info. Stay safe. Hope you complete your mission. Bye. Bye, Moon. Oh, I almost crashed into you, trust to be. I'm trying back. Hey, Brian Buck, why did you come to me? I just wanted to meet you before I go to Sagittarius A star. And why can't I see you clearly? That's because I'm very close to my star, hence I'm very hot. And since my surface is practically lava, it produces fumes that cover my atmosphere and making it black. I only reflect 1% of light. Oh, that's why. But now I have to continue on this mission. Bye! Bye! Hey, 
B. Hey, Tram Bat. Hey, K2141 B. I always wanted to know why only one side of you is hot while the other side is super cool. That's because only one side of me faces the sun. Oh, that's why. But now I have to go to our black hole. Bye. Bye. Hey, Triumphak. Hi, Sagittarius A star. Hey, is it true that at your center, the gravity is infinite and there can be our portals to other dimensions? Yes, it is true that gravity is infinite at my singularity, but it has been only theorized that it opens up a portal to another universe. Oh, that's amazing. I never knew about that. I just thought it was a myth. Now I have to go back to it, guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Initiating hyperdrive. Mom, can you hear me? Yes, Prime, but we can hear you. Uh, I'm sorry, I got disconnected again. Um, so can I just finish my presentation? Yes. Uh, okay, so I was, I'm planning on marketing this as a, a, a children's educational show. Um, uh, oh, yes. Uh, I hope you all like the animation. And thank you. Now I open the floor for questioning. Thank you, Trambuk. Uh, <clears throat> a great presentation, Trambuk. I liked your confidence and you have dressed very well and uh, been patient enough for three, four hours to wait for your turn. And you have definitely saved the best for the last. And yes, uh, the timings you have uh, perfectly placed. It is very informative, especially for those who are interested in the space domain. And yeah, a little more refining of the video. And I guess it is good to go. So very well done, Thriambak. Good work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thriambak, I have to compliment you on the way you presented your concept. Uh, it was so interesting. And I liked your confidence and your style. Uh, and also, you know, I'm sure uh, you almost look like a junior scientist to me an astronaut. You almost look like an astronaut to me. And I'm sure you'll grow up to be one. And I like the amount of space technology jargon you have put inside your story. So anybody who is uh, interested in space will learn so much by watching your animation. Uh, yeah, of course, the, the, the movement part could have been more, little more, uh, you know, movement and action and drama could have been there. Yeah. Um, that would improve the whole uh, film. But other than that, I, I think that you wanted basically that this is like a game, this is like fun, and you're learning so much about our space. So that's what your objective was, I believe. Yes. Uh, so good, good work done. Thank you. Thank you. Very impressed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Jujis, for your feedback. Uh, thank you, Thrayambuk. Let's have a round of applause for Thrayambuk. So uh, that's it um, for the presentations from the animation domain. Let's have a round of applause for the participants for their marvelous presentations. Uh, back to you, Abhinav. Thank you, Mithal. Now, everybody did amazing. And I would like to take a moment and appreciate all the participants who worked tirelessly for the past few days with the help of their mentors. Your participation is what made this possible. Let's have a big round of applause for them. Now, the presentations for day one have come to an end. We would like to hear from our beloved judges who were there from the beginning to the end of our presentation. So let's start with you, Pooja, ma'am. What do you have to say?
Abhimanyu, first of all, I'd like to compliment you on your oratory skills. Thank you, ma'am. Very confidently spoken, clarity. Your script was, uh, you know, flawless and uh, you, good work done. Uh, which standard are you in? I am in eighth grade. Eighth grade, marvelous. Thank you. Um, see the entire, uh, entire program, each and every presentation, each and every product which was showcased was excellent. Um, considering the fact that it came from six, seventh and eighth standard students. Am I right? This was from six to eight? Yes. yes. So it's remarkable the amount of progress the students have made uh, in their respective domains. And uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, they are a shining example for so many other students of their grades to follow. Not only did they work, they were not just working behind the screens, but the way they presented, which, uh, which desire, you know, which demands a degree of confidence and a thought process, you know, a, a flow of thoughts, which will align with the product that they have created. So I think each one of them spent time in creating more meaningfulness in the work that they were doing. And that shows the amount of maturity each one of them has. Uh, I'm, I'm very sure that the teachers have worked hard behind the scene. And I'd like to compliment their teachers who worked with them, uh, kind of improving their skills, polishing their work. And my compliments to the teachers and to the principal who was, I mean, I'm very sure that this has been a collaborative work of the teachers and the students. So hats off to the entire institution. Thank you so much. And how and why for bringing up this, uh, you know, platform. This is so good. This is so uh, futuristic. And I think they should reach out to more and more schools uh, in order to spread this culture to other schools, including mine. And I, I'm very excited to, uh, you know, having seen this, I'm quite excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now I'm curious to what you have to say, Shubham sir. Please take the mic. Thanks, Abhimanyu. And <clears throat> big, big congratulations uh, and thanks to entire team. We have only seen the front end, the front end presentations, but we are pretty sure how much amount of work has been done from the back end part of it. The teachers, the mentors, the students themselves, the parents, all are very important stakeholders in this. And this is this is exactly the new India is. Uh, this is where we are heading to at such a small age with, with the class of sixth, seventh and eighth. And kind of the work they are presenting is marvelous. And uh, uh, at, uh, at there are some institutions like, like Atal Innovation Mission, like us at Niti Aayog, who are also providing such platforms for younger kids. And uh, you are amazed to know, you will be amazed to know that in Kerala itself, we have around 364 Atal Tinkering Labs. So Atal Tinkering Labs is a concept where uh, there is a lab set up in schools who teaches the 21st century skills like robotics, animations, uh, 3D prototyping, 3D printing, etc, etc. So that our only goal is that, uh, yes, there are some people who are job seekers, but there are eventually some people who are job providers. So we see these budding entrepreneurs as the job providers rather than the job seekers and as uh, as chairman sir has also mentioned ki, uh, we are seeing some of these as the future ceos future mds as well and i'm pretty sure with the level of the engagement these institutions are bringing up i guess this will go a long way and thanks to how and why for making this platform so that this talent can be showcased so I would like to mention here, there is uh, one interesting piece. There is one interesting platform with government of India as well, which is known as ATL Marathon. 
Atal Tinkering Lab Marathon. And don't be confused it with it's for only the schools who have adopted ATLs. It is open for all the schools across India. And it is a national level platform where you can showcase your talent in different different fields. Like today we have the presentation from website development, biomedical and animation. Likewise, we have different different themes like health, like nutrition, like women empowerment, like social inclusion, like finance, where these prototypes, where these concepts can be submitted uh, in both video as well as the documentation manner. And the very high profile candidates of Atal Innovation Mission will evaluate you and will give you the ranking. And then for the next step onwards from the patenting side of it and linking you to a startup or to an incubator at this very early age can be provided from us as well. So I do encourage all the school students, not only from Kerala, from across India, to participate in this ATL marathon. We have extended the deadline to 20th of April because since the next month you will be having exams, I suppose. So you have, you still have time to register and take participation in ATL marathon. Some of these ideas I'm pretty sure will get recognized at such big level. And when you see the recognition, you will definitely get motivation as well. So I congratulate all the 10 participants for today and all the 10 participants who would be presenting tomorrow. And yes, the number might be 20 as of now, but the number is growing and it might be thousands in India. And we all must thrive to just give a push for them so that they are not restricted to these four roles and they can go outside and bring uh, India into an innovation ecosystem and the roadmap. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for having me as a judge. And uh, I'm pretty sure that these budding entrepreneurs will make it big. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, we all know that parents are the primary educators of our students. So, dear parents, we want to hear your feedback. I came to know that Uma Chandran, ma'am, mother of Janagi, wants to share some words with us. Ma'am. Uh, Abhimanyu, ma'am, if you can just give me one moment, if I can intervene. This is Kripalini here. I'm sorry that I'm coming in the flow of the uh, discussion, Abhimanyu. I just wanted to put out my word of gratitude to both Pooja, ma'am, and to Shubham, sir, for coming here and for putting their time. I know we've prolonged, we've gone over and beyond the time that we committed to, but thank you so much for your time and for your patient listening. And most importantly, I'm sure you must have observed that these are projects which were not close to, which are not perfect. If you look at it in the terminology of perfection, they don't anywhere come close to it. But we believe as an organization always for progress over perfection. And these were progressive projects. These are projects where there's obviously areas of improvement, but entirely done by our students. And thank you so much for taking your time and for your patient listening and for all the great feedback that you gave our students. Thank you, Pooja ma'am. Thank you, Shubham sir. Over to you, Abhimanyu. I'm sorry that I had to intervene in your flow. No, no, it's fine, ma'am. Uh, so, Uma ma'am, are you there? Yeah, sure, Abhimanyu. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my feedback as a parent. So, this How and Why program is a very wonderful program. So, I, I was amazed by seeing all the kids' presentations. And actually, I, I'm also, I was also learning from them. So, so all these great things they are doing. Actually, like Raj sir also mentioned, there is no lack of information. There are lots of information around them. But how they are using that information? So are they using it in the right way? So for that, they need a mentor and a platform like this. So in that way, this How and Why is a great platform. And uh, kudos to all the How and Why team for this uh, and giving these kids this opportunity to just develop their idea and uh, just, uh, make such a project and uh, just present that one. And presentation, that is also an important part. So even though they are doing it, and if they can present it very well, so that is the, this great thing. So through that, actually, they are doing like this, uh, uh, we professionals are doing in our this job. So it is simply amazing. And I congratulate this like called Chambaga team also bringing this how and why uh, like platform to this school. Because uh, nowadays uh, they actually focusing only on the curriculum that will not help them. 
so there should be uh, this focus beyond the curriculum so in that aspect this havan way is a great platform so that is making these kids future ready and uh, like one of the judges also mentioned uh, now we need more this job creators a lot rather than job seekers so i hope all these kids would be tomorrow's uh, job givers thank you thanks a lot wishes to all thank you ma'am next i invite parent of adidev to share his thoughts yeah, good evening everyone uh so myself uh, chantu so i wanted to share a few words uh, you know first of all thanks to the school management uh, the teachers and uh, how and why team for providing uh, these kids an opportunity to you know uh, work on their talents real talents actually as you know you know these kids have been uh, you know put uh, in inside those four walls for the past two years and uh, they have been uh, just you know Uh, there have been classes and all, but not much of extracurricular activities or options to go out and explore their, uh, you know, fun activities and all. But this thing has uh, given them an opportunity to work on uh, their creative talents, and I really appreciate the team for that. And look at those children, what uh, wonderful projects that they have made. so even though as uh, the ma'am said uh, even though they are not uh, perfect but they are as good as you know any professionals would uh, create one so even i am thankful that you know adi has got an opportunity to work on this because even he has also been uh, very i mean very uh, stagnant in his progress or maybe like you know he was also very bored at home uh, not having uh, been able to go to school and all so this has provided me a wonderful opportunity and we are very thankful for that so that's it all the best for all the participants and uh, today's session was a great one and uh, expect you know much more uh, tomorrow thank you sir last but not the least i invite lakshmi ma'am mother of anamika to do the same hi this is lakshmi uh, mother of anamika so initially when i heard about the how and why program i first knew was Uh, like slightly perplexed as to how she will do alone because i also had a busy schedule and uh, then out of interest she said okay let me let me try it out but uh, when we actually get into the program i realized that it is it's because i thought it is just like an exhibition like you know, she has to do something and present then but it turned out to be a really uh, different experience i would say um the first and foremost thing i would highlight is the mentor support um i i was not expecting that kind of a support uh, and every day each and every day like uh, the mentor is actually calling and getting the person on the focus because as child they will be interacting or they will be doing a lot of things but that that was a uh, very good she was giving feedbacks and she was uh, guiding them she was uh, in fact anamika was presenting in that level for the first time i would say so uh, she is a bit nervous and uh, Uh, she was trying to get out of this in, in multiple times, but uh, Jenisa was like, "Get out to it and then do it." So uh, that is that's good. Um, the second po point I would like to highlight is the uh, we generated a curiosity to learn. I would say uh, because um, what I observed or what Anamika told is that just these mock sessions are happening in a group wherein the people are given opportunity to hear and give feedbacks to each other. Uh, so that is a very wonderful thing because normally in an that in a normal exhibition people they know only what they are doing but here uh, they are hearing uh, the, all their teammates what they are doing so uh, which which is which also i think uh, personally being slightly different from the normal programs um, like she is the one who came up and said uh, i want to do this 3 printing and she was searching and she was sorry she was trying to do a lot of things Uh, i in fact uh, linked her to one of the labs called fab lab which i know uh, in fact she went there and asked this person can i uh, can you teach me how to do it so i dropped her there for a day and <laughs> uh, he they actually taught her how to do it so in fact the last couple of pieces she herself did it with the correct coordination she had a simple drawing with her as to how to do it but in fact this guy actually showed her Uh, all the coordinates how this thing to be designed but as a child she could not design it but in fact uh, she was there throughout and she was personally involved in getting it cut and the emission sites she was opening the co2 emission and 
uh, it was it was interesting the, that kind of a curiosity i was seeing her for the first time so thanks uh, very much for that and the third and the final uh, portion is the presentation skills of course um uh, as as i told earlier she is doing it for the first time so i was also worried like how she will be performing but long way uh, i mean uh, long long way to go but still i think the where she was like two weeks before and where she is now um, i am uh, very thankful to the hawaii team uh, especially i am i am special thanks to denisa ma'am and uh, the school authorities uh, who came uh, very thankful um, to you all and um, yeah that's it the only recommendation for me maybe is to maybe the timeline uh, if we could have it a little bit uh, on maybe a november december time frame or january time frame because the, amongst the uh, exam time they have kind of jaggy that's the only other uh, recommendation i have but otherwise it's a wonderful program and thank, thank you for giving an opportunity i'm looking forward for more things. thank you ma'am now i would like to hand over the mic to ansi ma'am and ma'am please take the lead yeah thank you mimanyu all right i just wanted to mention anandi ma'am and manju ma'am also who was part of our journey throughout they were coordinating with our event till you know just before the meeting as of now they for some reason they are not there in the meeting but we wanted to share our gratitude to you you both ma'am thank you so much yeah back to you mimanyu thank you ansi ma'am now you may be curious about who are the winners of today's project presentations well you may have to wait a little longer but the winners will be announced soon day 1 has come to an end all the participants did amazing and your hard work is well appreciated last but not the least let's put our hands together for the teacher teachers students judges and everybody who made this event possible stay tuned for day 2 with the same schedule tomorrow which is at 6 pm let's meet again with more unique projects on biotech and artificial intelligence with this we come to an end